Hello, this is Pinky, and this is going to be a tutorial on how to add props to your avatar insanely fast. So the first step to this will be going over to vrcfury.com. I'll leave a link to this in the description. We're going to hit the download VRC Fury, and then we're going to hit this click here to download it through Creator Companion, and then hit open Creator Companion. It should pop up like this, and then as you can see this URL, you hit add, and then it's installed. After you've done that, we will go to our project, and it should be the one with the little green dot here. And then we head over to Manage Project, and then with VRC Fury, there should be a plus. You click the plus, and that will install it. Now, if you don't have Creator Companion, you can actually click this drop down here, go to the VRC Fury installer, and then you just drag this in. But it takes a little bit longer, and it's also something I wouldn't recommend doing. I would just recommend using Creator Companion. Now, after you've done that, we're going to actually grab the prop we want added. So in this example, we're going to be using this diamond sword. I'll leave a link to this in the description. We hit over to download. We will go over to I'm not a robot, hit download unity package. And then after that's done, we will grab this and drag this in and we will hit import. Now, after this is imported, you'll see that we have a prefab here and we want to drag that in. Now you'll notice that this isn't exactly what we want. So for the start, I'm going to press E, and this will put it in rotate mode. And then while holding this rotate, I'm going to hit control, and this will allow me to do it in intervals of 15. So I'm going to make it go 45 degrees, and now you can see that it's straight. If your object is a little bit weirder, you can just grab it normally and move it around. Now, after you've done that, hit W. This will put it in move mode. Now we can move it towards the hand. So we're just going to go like that. And we're going to make sure that the handle matches up with where we want it to be. And then one last thing is the object is way too big. So what I'm going to do is hit E or R rather, and this will put it in scaling mode. And then I'm going to scale it down to about that size. And then of course, again, we're going to have to just reposition it to the hand. Now that we have that done and we have it where we want, what we do next is we go to our avatar. We open it up, we drag the diamond sword onto it, and then we're going to go over to add component, and we're going to scroll through, uh, make sure to type in VRCF or VRC Fury, and scroll down to around the bottom, and you should see the toggle right here. Now we're going to call the toggle diamond sword. We're going to go over to options, and we're going to do save between worlds. This basically means that if you toggle this object and then change into a different world, it should stay toggled on. Now, what we want to do is we go to when the toggle is enabled, add action. And what we are going to do is we're going to hit the plus. We're going to go to object toggle. And then we are going to drag the object, which will be default here. And we're going to drag that into there. So that means when we toggle diamond sword, this object will turn on. If you want it on by default and you want to turn it off, you can do that. But for this example, we're going to have it default off. Now. What we need to do next is link it to this hand. So we're going to have to find where the hand is. So we go skeleton, yours may be named armature, spine, chest, shoulder R, forearm R, for, uh, upper arm, forearm, and then right here, hand R. And just to double check, you can move this around and see this is going to be the part we want to move. Uh, and if you move it around like this, you can do control Z to undo it. So now that we have the part we want, we're going to go back to the diamond sword. And you have two options here. You can either grab the diamond sword and drag it like that, or you can go to add component and you can scroll up, go to the armature link. And what we're going to do is we're going to put our object. So in this example, diamond sword here, and we're going to link it to the right hand. So we look through this list and right hand should be right here. And if you want to double check, it will tell you exactly where it's going to merge it to. And as you can see right here, right.r, hand r, looks right to me. And then we're going to open up the advanced options. And inside of here, we're going to set the positioning and alignment. Uh, keep bone offsets as yes. So this basically means if you've posed it like this, it's going to keep it exactly like this when it's put onto the avatar. And then lastly, we're going to go to link mode. And we're just going to do the reparent root. What basically this means is that when we upload it, all it's going to do is just drag it like this. So again, you could just do this normally, or if you like keeping things a little bit more tidy, 
and having the ability to remove it easily just by dragging it out, uh, I would recommend just keeping it in here and doing the armature link. But now that you have done everything here to fully test if it's working, open up Gesture Manager, hit Enter Play Mode, and then we are going to wait for this to go through. VRC Fury is going to do its job, and as you can see, if we go over to Scene, go to Expressions and Diamond Sword, you can now see that it is properly toggled. And if you want to double, triple check, you can head over to the Debug section, go to Upright, and then we just want to change this to 0.5, and as you can see, it now moves with our avatar. And again, you can just toggle it on and off whenever. So, this has been a super simple and super fast tutorial on how to make a toggle on your avatar. If this has helped at all, please leave a like and subscribe. Otherwise, have a lovely rest of your day. This has been Pinky, and uh, yeah, thank you. Hello, this is Pinky, and this is a thank you to my Patreons and YouTube members, those being Tack, Kirchen the Floof, Kit Chimera, Cupid Fox, Dreaded, Blue Nino One, Emerald Null, Tef, Sir Fappingson, Hamu, and Novan. And then over on my YouTube side, I have A's and Blue Nino One. Thank you very much for all your support. Everything you guys do really helps make these videos and content. It has been quite a while since I've made it, and I would just like to say I appreciate you guys sticking around for the last two months. It truly does mean a lot. Um, if you are interested in getting one of the desk goobers, there is a link in the description. And otherwise, I hope you have a lovely rest of your day.